The singing bird competition, once a popular hobby, is losing its prominence in today's society. The essence of this dying hobby is recaptured at the Wailing Contemporary Art Gallery. I want to attract people by using a very electronic sounds that imitate a very natural bird singing and when they and it gives them the pounce when they see that this is actually a fake, you know, bird's song or bird's calling. I come from this this generations. So these are my mediums, you know, uh, electronics, <laughs> gadgets, wires. Um, and I I, I treat it equally a creative process as you make cam uh, make painting on the canvas and yeah I, I, I enjoy the process of soldering stuff you know connecting electronic devices um, programming in this show I reuse my old work to turn it around to try to become a catch a support but anyway, it's a support for the egg because I have uh, done painting all the while I've done it on canvas and it's the curator's idea to make the painter or the artist to paint from 2D to 3D. So instead of making a totally new work, I reuse my old work which I have painted on 3D objects like painting on paper mache and on ostrich egg and combine the two together and to give it a new meaning in the new context that is another gallery. I have this superhero painted on ostrich egg and I name it Super Ego. So superhero they have a proud ego. They are strong. Okay. So since it's an egg that is trapped the superhero are trapped in the air, so that's why I call it Super Ego. So it represents myself as well. Artists are proud and very individualistic, and we are quite lonely in our world. So it's something, it's just like the bird being, it can be free, it, it, it can be so free, but it was caught and live, stay in the cage. So artists actually is being trapped in their own world. And by expressing their artworks, they express themselves out. It's a, a way to let go of their stuff. If not, they will go crazy. So what do I do pick up is that uh, I find it interesting because what she did talk about is the comparison and she make an analogy between going to an understanding art and how she's intrigued by the bird contest. So I, I take that up as, as a point that I could play with you know, and this way I come to my work. So I try to play around with um, the idea of whether I can transform part of this so-called bird singing contest okay, into the art in art context, put it this way. Yes. Oh, what, what I basically do is just um, go around in places and spots in the city, which I think I was looking for what um, sounds of birds, okay, and see whether and any interesting sound. So I do target some of the spots that we, are, which I think could have uh, lots of sound of birds. For example, near the jungle forest where I stay in Malawati and accidentally I discover a, a jogging path in Wangsa Maju, for example, so where people, a lot of people work out in the morning. So I thought, okay, let's see if there are any uh, bird sounds and then insects as well. So what I do is that when I go and when I go uh, recording the sound, and I would, uh, well, I use a, a proper sound recorder. It's called a Zoom H4 recorder. So <clears throat> what I do is that uh, when I go record, at the same time, I try to communicate with them and see whether they respond to that. Uh, so I'll, I'll be whistling to the birds, you know. That
Visitors to this exhibition can participate and vote for your favorite bird song with entries of your own slogan. Art Caged and Uncaged is open to public from July 2nd to 9th August.